staged a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bargamaga. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy, oh! Again, they will clinch. That knee might have 
might have landed there. Oh! Well, shades of Cormier against Dan Henderson back in the day just slammed his opponent to the ground. I mean, just slammed him, lifted him up, and almost treated him like a baby. If you can pick a guy up off his feet, it's so discouraging for men that are used to being the alpha oh! in all situations. Watch an early takedown is. Oh! Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Marco Medovs has got full mount now. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. He's gonna attack armbar here. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and that was a violent tap there, so he submits him with the armbar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at four minutes, three seconds, in the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. man on the planet and now with another highlight for the real the heavyweight champion submits